Hey YouTube, a while ago I had made a video on how to use the website called garmin.openstreetmap.nl to download free maps to your Garmin device for pretty much anywhere in the world. There were some things I didn't like about this. You can choose whole countries, you know, Europe, you could choose Germany, but when you get to North America, you had to go by state. You couldn't do the whole United States. If you tried manual selection, selected the whole United States, and then did build my map, it would tell you you had too many tiles selected. So I really wanted some way to get the entire United States routable maps downloaded to my Garmin 810 bike computer. So what I found was a new website called www.gmaptool.eu slash en. And in it, there is USA, OSM, Auto, and Topo. And I really like the Topo ones. What you can do is you can download all of the Northeast as a routable Topo map or all of the mountain. I want to download all of these. The instructions that they give you are okay, but it took me a long time to figure out how to install these. What you get when you download one of these, if I chose Northeast, is a 7-zip file. So if I download that, now I have a 7-zip file. In order to unzip a 7-zip file for free, you need some software called Kika which you can download from the web. Also to do this, you're going to also need Garmin's Map Install and Garmin's Map Manager software. As well, you probably want Basecamp also. So I went and downloaded all of these, including Alaska and Hawaii, and they all came down as .7-zip files. And because I have Kika installed, if I double click on one of these, it will extract it. Okay, so here is my extracted file. And it is in GMAP format. On your Garmin device, what you need is a .img file. So how do you get from a GMAP file to an IMG file? What you have to do is you have to import this map into your computer using Garmin's Map Manager. When I double click on this, it starts up Map Manager and says, do I want to install this on this computer? And if I click yes, and as you can see, I've already installed all these other ones. Map Manager will install this on your computer. So that's it successfully installed. So now if you were to go to something like Basecamp, right now I have the default map which has only just a few highways and nothing else, no no interior streets or anything. Now if I were to switch to like the Northeast Topo map, boom, you see all the streets and you see contour lines and you see the Appalachian Trail and it's pretty awesome. So that's what the open street map routable topo map would look like on your GPS, which is pretty nice. Another great thing about having all these maps in Map Manager is they are available up here in Basecamp to choose from. And you don't have to wait forever for them to load from your memory card like I do with the Garmin Oregon or my Edge 810. Usually you gotta go through this reading map stuff and wait forever. Very nice to have them immediately available here. But they're not on your GPS yet. So before I get into the actual install onto your micro SD card, first you got to buy a micro SD card. Then you'll put it into your Garmin device and then let Garmin create the directories it needs. To get the Garmin directories created, start your Garmin up. Then go into setup, system, data recording, record to memory card. If this said internal storage, you should change it to memory card. And then what you do is you exit out of here and you start a ride and let it go for a few seconds and then hit stop and hit save. Now I just want to go in and delete that ride. But that should have created all my directories on the memory card. So let's go check it out on the computer. Okay, so if I go to no name, there's my Garmin folder. Uh, unfortunately, I really want that named maps. So what I'm going to do is go into the disk utility. There's no name. And I want to, oh, maybe I'm going to change the name right here. So if I go back here, there's my maps, my Garmin. And this is where I would put all of the maps. Anyway, we have unzipped the Alaska one, 
we have taken the GMAP file and imported it into Garmin's Map Manager. And now what we need to do is send it to our GPS. And in order to send it to our GPS, we need to use Garmin's Map Install. Links to all these will be in the description. So I want to install this on my, I don't want to install it on my Edge 810. I want to install it on the micro SD card that I inserted into the Edge 810. I'm going to click continue. Now I'll start and I'll do Alaska. And I will say, select all these maps and send them to my memory card. And this takes forever. So what I just found out the hard way was Garmin's map install wipes out any map that you have in on your uh, little memory card. I used to have a northeast.img file there and the map install program wiped it out when I tried to do Alaska. So what I'm going to try is something different here. I'm going to start with the Northeast. I want the entire Northeast. I want South Atlantic next. I want South Central. I want Pacific. And I don't have enough. Okay, this is a, five, a four gig file size issue. So what I'm going to do is cancel out of this and start over. And I'm going to take Alaska and just do Alaska. Now even though you can only have a 4 gigabyte file by MS-DOS, you can put multiple .img files on your memory card. It w works just fine on a Garmin Edge 810. On older units, I believe that you do need to have it named gmap sup.image. So unfortunately, if I install more maps on here, it's going to overwrite this one, even if I rename this one to Alaska. So what I'm going to do is copy Alaska to my downloads folder. I am going to delete the Alaska off my memory card. Then I repeated that process for each region one by one, re uh, downloading it to the memory card using map install, renaming the gmap SUP image file to what I wanted, copying it from my memory card back to my downloads folder, and then deleting the IMG file. So because I'm greedy, I also want to get the auto maps for automobile routing, I believe this is. He has this broken down into just three maps for the entire United States, the West, Mountain, and Eastern. So I clicked on each of those, downloaded them to my downloads folder, double clicked on them to unzip them, and what was a pleasant surprise was these are not .gmap files, these are .img files. So you don't have to go through the map manager and then map install and then copy off your memory card. You can copy them directly from, you, directly from the downloads folder to your memory card. Now, here are all the maps that I downloaded and I copied them all to my memory card. Okay, so I have all of the maps downloaded to the memory card. And I'm gonna go into setup, activity profiles, and it doesn't really matter which one you choose. You're gonna enable the maps for all of them, no matter which one you choose. So I wanna to go to the maps, and then map select information. And I think I will disable Alaska, and I'm gonna disable the automotive ones. I'll disable Hawaii. Midwest Topo I'll leave enabled. South Atlantic. South Central. So I have a bunch of maps enabled and I am going to go back and look at the map. There it looks pretty good. Now if I were to go find cities, those really aren't cities, but let's say I wanted to go to the boulders and I say ride. I have to tap on the map, tap on the hand, and then I can slide the map going to give me turn-by-turn turn directions. See how it took that corner? So, that's good. If I did stop navigation, back to home. If I changed, I'm in mountain bike. Car will, I have these different profiles set up where car locks on road, and does not avoid anything. 
gravel bike set up with I don't avoid U-turns but I do avoid toll roads, highways, major highways I don't avoid unpaved roads I do avoid car lanes and ferries. Let's go look at the other maps. So if I look at the map right now, this is kind of what this one, the topo one looks like. Let me go to the Pittsfield State Forest. Look at that. We have a trail here. And we have my Strava live segments here. Now I'm going to switch maps to my disable Enable Automobile West. Leave Hawaii disabled. Leave Midwest disabled. It doesn't show the houses like the other one was showing. And if I... It does have the trails. And it has the trail names. I wonder if the other one had the trail names. I think it might have. So that's pretty cool. They look a little less nice. And if I zoom out, you know, the, the area just looks like white in the woods. The northeast topo. Come back. They're showing up with greenery anyway. If I zoom in, do I get topo lines? Not really seeing any topo lines like I saw on my computer. But you do see all the trails, and if you were on one of those, it apparently, it usually will tell you you're riding on such and such a trail, which is pretty nice. So there it says Deer Hill Trail, 1.55 miles long. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Both the topo and the non-topo are routable. I think I like the topo better. Looks like a little more colorful, a little more information on it. So one last thing is, you might want to go back to that website and notice the donate button and click on it and give this guy a little love. I'm sure he put a lot of time and effort into making these maps available to us. Thanks for watching.